So this is what's happening. There is no limit or edges to this happening. So there's no beginning or end to this happening. It's not coming from anywhere. There's no origin. There's no God. There's no intelligence. There's no instigation. This happening is the beginning and end. The Alpha and the Omega. It's everything. And everything is included in this happening. That being the case, it's complete. There is nothing missing. That includes any experience that something's missing. Nothing needs to happen. That includes the experience that something needs to happen. It's a whole. That includes the experience that it's not a whole. It's impersonal. That includes the experience that it's personal. It's unconditioned and unconditional. And that includes in the experience of conditioned or conditionality. It has no intention. What's happening has no intention. It doesn't need any. There's nothing missing, so there's no need for an intention to bring about any apparent happening. Half a breath is wholeness. Half a word is wholeness. It's unconnected. It's unrelated. It's chaos. It's anarchy. It's freedom. It's unconditional freedom. And it's absolutely nothing that's been mentioned already. Nothing that's been said is what this is. It's all of it and none of it. It's full in that it appears, in that there's sound, and form, and light, and color, and sensation. And it's empty. There's nothing behind it. There's nothing within it. It's full and empty at the same time. It's no thing and apparent at the same time. So every apparent position is all positions. No position is every position. There's nowhere being everywhere. It's inconceivable, and that includes conception. So that being the case, what is the point of this meeting? Why say any of that? <clears throat> there is no actual intention. The meeting, as much as it can be, is a reflection of what's being said already. There is no intention. The meeting, or what's being said, is a response. It's a response to an experience that seems to arise in this which is already everything. It's a response to an experience of knowing. There can arise in this boundlessness, the unknowingness that this is and isn't, an experience, I know what's happening. I know that I have a life that's a part of a continuum that's moving through this appearance. 
heading towards something better. The knower. This meeting is a response to the knower. And the knower makes everything that was said in the beginning hidden. The knower wants to know and has the experience that it will, through its own free will, be able to find what it experiences as missing. Knowing creates the experience that something is missing in this appearance. So that everything that was described at the beginning is, in a way, lost. The dilemma, to the, the dilemma for the knowing is nothing's lost. Nothing's ever lost. <clears throat> what was said at the beginning is the knower appearing as knowing, is that appearing as a knower. So the knower is emptiness appearing as solidity. The knower is unknowing appearing as knowing. But the experience says, I need to do something about it. I need to know that this is it. I need to know that I've found something. I need something solid and real to hold on to, to make myself feel safe, comfortable, secure. <clears throat> the problem for the individual, the problem for the knower is, there is nothing that can be held on to. There is nothing that in that sense is safe and secure. There's no way to find it. That's not really bad news. The claim of the knower that that needs to happen is illusory. The actual experience of knowing is illusory. The ex actual experience of the subject-object reality is illusory. By illusory, What's meant is, it's actually not happening. So the experience is, I'm separate from everything else. There's no separation. The experience is, I know what this is. It's unknowable. This is already unknowable. The experience is, this is incomplete. I need to understand what's being said. I need to be able to put things into order, to find what feels like needs to happen. That's illusory. It's not true. There is nothing incomplete. So in that sense, this meeting has absolutely nothing for that experience of knowing. There's nothing here for that experience of knowing. There's nothing on offer here. There are no answers. There's no hope. There's no path. The meeting does two things, in a way, as responding to that experience of knowing. The first is describes the illusory nature and the consequences of the experience of the knower, that appearance. And it suggests what, what's hidden by that experience. I say suggest because <coughs> what this is can't be said. It's too immediate. It's too inconceivable. It's too simple. Simple in the sense of singular. Simple in the sense of not too. No other. There is simply everything. For the, for the knower, there is me, or I, or knowing, and the other. That covers over that there is no me, I, or the other. Everything that arises, everything that's happening, is everything. Everything that's happening is infinite. This is infinite. Whatever thought, whatever feeling, whatever, whatever sight, whatever is happening is infinite, without beginning or end. Beyond conception.
Is that change? Apparently. Change? Apparently. From what to what? Yeah. Well, these hands are cold. They were warm. No consequential change. Nothing that matters changes. The change seems to happen. It's equally as empty and meaningless as everything else change. my story now, it's, it's immediate, huh? it's happening now, and she asked me yesterday to ask you a question, mm. but if it's no time, and it was yesterday, though it's now for me, okay, and she asked if there's something after the death of the body, mm. because she wants to die, mm. so I said to her, no, I don't think so, there's nothing. But she wanted to know. Uh, so In the experience I of feel the, the pressure to ask the question. Yeah, why not? Because it's a. Yeah. So in the experience of the knower, yeah. death is unknowing. Mm -hmm. The dream is that death the... or unknowing is somewhere else. Mm -hmm. That's the dream. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is death. This is already unknown. Knowing what this is, is a dream. So, Jim, mm -hmm. the, there's, this apparently has an ability to cover itself over. But could it cover itself over? Well, hide itself. And what has the power to hide itself, if it's all there is? Well, that's why it's a dream. It's an illusion. What is? It's not really covered. It's not really hidden. There's an illusory experience that says that knows what's happening. It doesn't. And it doesn't change the reality that nothing is known. But there might be the illusory experience that there is. Has no effect. Makes no difference. But in the dream it does. <laughs> what you said earlier about change sounded like a um, contradiction to the things I've heard you say before. Hmm. Unless you just, I don't think you said apparent change. I think you said the hands are cold, they were warm before. Hmm. Um, so a lot of people talk about their life before, and it doesn't seem that that's any different. And also, if nothing is happening, then how, where does the change come? It sounds different. Mm. I don't understand the difference. No. So you, you'd say, you just said that nothing's really hidden because even the experience of being separate is what it is. Absolutely. <laughs> so. So nothing's actually being hidden by the experience. <laughs> Only in the dream. Yeah. The dream of knowing what this is makes it appear solid and real. It has no effect on the fact that it's not solid and real. Neither is that experience. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when there's a me, there's a dream. It's a dream. When there's no me, what is it? Well, you can't say. You can't say. You can't say what this is. Right. You can't say what this is. 
And even saying what it is, is unknowing saying what it is. There's no beginning or end to it. It has no solidity. Mm -hmm. So there's no thing. There's no object. What are you going to point to? Whatever you point to is all there is. So what is that? That's what we're asking. <laughs> yeah. Well, they, then there's right. no answer to that. Right. The experience or the need for an answer is the dream. The one that's looking for something real. Because it experiences itself as real. Or knowable. Knowing seeks knowing. Nothing's known. So when the dream is over, there's just... When the dream is over, seen, there never was seen. a dream. Never was. And there's no dream. <clears throat> So, it'll never be over, because it's not happening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what there is, is an apparent loss of a contracted energy that says it knows what's happening. The change. the change is a process, or does change something? <clears throat> change is apparent. Things mm -hmm. are apparent. So, let's say that those eyes mm -hmm. see this. If there's a knower in there, there'll be ownership of the seeing. <clears throat> and then what is seen will seem to be solid and real. Mm -hmm. So the owner will be the beginning, and the perceived will be the end. Mm -hmm. It lives in a solid subject-object reality. Now that experience hides the reality, which isn't a reality. It's not an actuality, it's the end of all actualities. That that's infinite, seeing the infinite. No beginning or end, there's no position anywhere. It's just happening without context. There's no need for context. This doesn't need to be understood. It doesn't need to be understood. There's no need for a knower for this to appear. Mm -hmm. So perception crystallizes a particular... No, no. that's not perception that does it. Okay. It's the owner that does it. The knower. It's the, it's the perception happens, yeah. apparently. But there's, there's an arising in experience that says, I know. And that takes ownership of what's happening. That ownership, you could say, is the solidity. Okay, oh, that's just it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Didn't mean to spit on this. So the ownership creates perception. Absolutely. Well, no, it doesn't create perception. It takes ownership of perception. Okay, so it takes ownership. Everything is already happening. Okay, yeah. This is already happening. It's happening. Mm -hmm. it makes it apparent? No. The owner, the only, the only thing that the owner does in its illusory experience is make this appear to be solid and real, separate, which engenders a need. And so it, it ends up grasping, grasping, looking, looking for something real, trying to overcome the knowing which creates an insecurity. So it tries to overcome the insecurity of knowing by gathering, gathering. So in this meeting, if there's a knower, it will be listening to this, trying to understand it, and trying it to apply to the knowing experience, trying to make that feel solid and real. It never works. Because there's only apparent, which suggests neither real nor unreal. Is the knower there until it isn't? Yeah, well, it's never there. The knower is there until it isn't, and then it never was. Mm. It lives in a dream world that what's happening is real. It's not. So when it stops happening, it, nothing was ever real. It lives in a dream world of intention. When it, when it stops having that experience, or when that experience of intention stops, 
There never was intention. There is no intention. It lives in a dream world of need, incompleteness. When that dream of incompleteness or need ends, there is no need. Never was. Absolutely, yeah. So it's like a, it's like a silence. Silence is infinite, or silence is, is, is part of Whatever you can mention is infinite, appearing as whatever is being mentioned. Noise is equally as infinite as silence. So there is not, not much to talk about that. No, absolutely. <laughs> There's nothing for anyone here. That experience of free will and choice has no, has, will get nothing out of this. There are no answers. This is not practical. It's not practical. There is no practicality r relates to the experience that there's a knower mm -hmm. that has free will and choice. That's an illusion. But there's still parking the car away from the ditch or whatever. Or running over old people. Over old people. Any, whatever seems to happen. This is not particular. <laughs> so is there anything like concern for your biological well-being or anything Yeah, of course, yeah. concern can arise. It doesn't necessarily arise. It's not really about what arises, it's that what arises or what's happening is not for anyone. It feels silly and serious at the same time. Yeah, it is very funny. <laughs> yeah. It's free. I don't know about the serious bit, but it's totally free. But the truth to say that the individual doesn't know how, what to do with the freedom. The individual is, is in a trap, in a, in, a, in, a, in a, what do you call it, the thing is, in a jail cell. In a jail cell. Mm. A jail cell of knowing. Well, it doesn't have any idea what we're talking about. of the dreamer, there's an apparent difference. That experience of free will and choice and trying to find wholeness is dissatisfying, frustrating. But that makes no difference. It makes no difference because there's no actual intention to the appearance. There's no need to the appearance. The appearance isn't concerned about the earth or whales or plastic or trauma. concerns relate to the, the knowers, ideas about what this should appear as so that it can find what it feels is missing. 
idealism has to do with the knower's need for this to be rosy and positive and good in its idealism, what it thinks of that. Exactly. That is the dilemma. That is the dilemma, the, the experience that it needs to be known. Mm -hmm. And that arises out of the experience that there's a knowing happening there. That that knows where and what this is. And that knowing is a dream. It's a dream. Yeah. So that's the beginning. An imaginary beginning. I mean, I can tell you a story about that. It won't help. Yeah. But there's a contracted energy in the body that has an experience of knowing what this is, and that's a dream. That contracted energy and that knowing is the beginning, let's say, of real experience, real time, real happening. That knowing, in a sense, is the first thing that's happening. And it feels, in a way, very, very good to know. And terrifying, the thought of losing it. The problem is that knowing is then dependent upon knowing, and knowing, and knowing, and knowing. And so that experience tries to collect knowing to itself. Enough knowing to find security. Is it anywhere where it's known? Absolutely. And that, that, and that, that is this already. Nothing depends upon that knowing experience. So it's like, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like a background for what is happening? A background? Not really a background, it actually that knowing experience, when that arises, it actually arises in the entire appearance simultaneously. So it arises here, and in everything, or let's say, that is the creation of everything. When there is no knowing, there are no things. They're simply what appears to happen. That contracted energy can be helped somehow, like with exercise, with yoga, with <laughs> The contracted energy is the only thing that wants to be helped. So in that sense, it's its own, it's a very small, um, self-fulfilling prophecy. It doesn't have any effect on the actuality. And nothing can help it, because it lives in an illusory experience that says, this is real, this is incomplete, this needs something to happen. That's translated into the experience of the knower in the body, right now, in this room, saying, this isn't it, it needs to have another experience. The next experience might be it. And of course, the, it, the problem for the individual, or that experience of knowing, it's always the next experience. Even the gaining of what was wanted very shortly turns into the need to either hold it or a new experience. And that entire happening, that entire knowing happening is literally a dream. It's a dream. A dream that unbelievably arises out of contracted energy in the body that says, I know. So just give up 
the search. It, that idea of giving up or surrender only arises out of the knowing, contracted energy that says what appears is somehow incomplete and needs to be given up. It's just another path. What's longed for is what's happening already. It's not somewhere else. The next experience is a dream. A dream created out of the knowing energy that this isn't it. But how to know that it, this is... Nobody knows this. It's the end of that need to know. It's the end of knowing. It's only in the dream of the individual which is convinced that knowing is the solution to its, to its dilemma. When it knows this is it, when it knows what's being suggested here, when it knows enough, then it will be what it thinks it needs to happen. It, then it will be what it's looking for. And that hides this as it already. This is it already. This is what's longed for. This is infinite. This is wholeness. This is home and complete. Already. Already. What could be done to make what is already be what it is already? What could happen to make this be what it is already? Just to relax into that. <laughs> but that's what is already. Not being relaxed is what is already. The suggestion from here is what is already is wholeness. There is nothing other than wholeness. This is more perfectly what's longed for than the knowing energy could ever imagine. Mm -hmm. Longed for by no one? No. So no one is longing for what is this is what's There's longing for. This is the end sadness. of seeking. What? Depression and sadness is just what's happening. It's what's happening and is what's longed for if that's what a parent... The individual longs for the end of depression. Mm -hmm. What is has no position on depression or sadness. That's just what's happening. It's neither right nor wrong. Mm -hmm. When there's no one left mm -hmm. trying to order or find the next moment to make this what is all right, there is a, an innocent curiosity which includes depression, anger, strange people showing up. <laughs> There's no reason for that not to happen. Why not? Where's the appearance coming from? Nothing. Nowhere. This isn't coming from you. Nothing is coming from you. That's a dream. The same place your dreams come from. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. That, you mean, it, no. No? Well, yes and no. <laughs> so the same place the cup is coming from. The same thing, everything okay, is coming from. Where are we at? Not coming from you. This isn't coming from you. That thought isn't coming from you. It's infinite. Without beginning or end. It's almost like, how can it be, you know? <coughs> well, it can't. It isn't. Because you talk about the appearance being not real and not unreal. Yeah. But where is that appearance coming from? Well, but it, for it to come from somewhere, it would have to have some reality. Right. For it to be coming from somewhere, it would have some beginning. Right. A middle and an end. And the expectation or the need for that arises out of the experience that there's a knowing what this is. And there isn't. That's a dream. Okay. This isn't coming from anywhere. There's no middle of this. There's no end of this. There's simply everything. <coughs> Absolutely. Yeah. The sense of being. Yeah. 
Is that the same for you as sense of knowing in the language? Absolutely. And the awareness, other... consciousness, sense of being are all the same thing. Okay. It's all knowing. <clears throat> So you're saying that the sense of being, that the feeling I am, yes. that is not... <laughs> that is a dream. That is a dream. It, that has no free will and choice. It is not independently happening. But without that there is no experience. Completely. <laughs> the end of experience is the end of that dream of need. There is only experience in the dream of knowing where and what this is. And experience is always a subject-object reality. And within that is need, because there's separation. In time. There's always apparent time. It's just not real. It's just this appearing as time. If the dream is seen as a dream, it Nobody ever sees it as a dream. Nobody sees it? No. What, what, what can happen is that dream, that contracted energy, can end and it never happened. <laughs> Nobody sees the dream. There's just no longer a dreamer. Nobody wakes up. After, after, Nobody wakes up. Mm -hmm. The dream and the dreamer are the same thing. So when the knower dies, falls away, mm -hmm. there's no dream. Nobody wakes up. It's always been like this. In a sense, you could say that. What happens when there's no knower, no dreamer? There's no real always. There's only what appears and what appears can appear as always. But it's just what is and isn't appearing as that. The knower is trying to work this out. Mm -hmm. That creates always. Because it's trying to find a context for its need so it can hope to find what it's looking for. When that knower is no longer, there's no need for always. So what appears, always, is just an appearance. It's just this appearing as always. You didn't come here. Going to the car is this appearing as a memory of going to the car. It's only in the dream that that time, as real, is needed because that in, had, was in it the hope that there will be a future to find what's missing. You understand that? <laughs> There's no need for that. That's a dream. There isn't anything missing already. <laughs> well, there is a dream. There is until there isn't, and then there never was. That was my first question. So the dream is no more. It means it didn't. There never was the dream. Absolutely. <laughs> it feels like there needs to be that the dream wants to confess or something. I can't do it. Cross friction. So I can't not make friction. So that's what's happening. There's no value in that. Yeah, there's nothing to say back. Really. Saying back might happen. There's still no value. The individual has an experience that its emotions and thoughts have value. It's trying to contextualize what's happening because it's important. Because it has the experience of itself being important. It's actually, <laughs> this isn't a judgment. It's the most important thing in the world. <laughs> It has the experience of being the center of the universe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's quite important. <laughs> and it's right. everything that's happening is about me. <laughs> <laughs> and it's up to me to make it right. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah. 
So when something happens inside, that's important. It's not. It has no value. Nothing does. This message has no value. That's the appearance has no value. It's already free. Without the dream, it's just lost. No, no. Without the dream, lostness dies. Lostness and the dream are the same thing. Without the dream, there's simply this. There's simply what seems to be happening. Without any value, without any meaning, without any purpose, without any need. I think we have initial free form. There's no one to free form. Free fall is what seems to happen when the individual first hears this. It has the experience that it's lost hold on things. That's what it is. And so it, it wants a seatbelt yeah. <laughs> in the meetings. Yeah. That's the individual having the sense of losing orientation. But in the end, when that experience dies, there's no free fall. Just a, what arose was the sense of that without the dream, this would be. Yeah, you have no idea what it is without no, the dream. It's just <laughs> because it's, without the dream, there's no idea of what this is. It can't be said, it can't be conceived of. Knowing can't conceive of unknown. The individual is seeking for more. More of experience? It doesn't matter. To the individual, it doesn't matter. More. Some people go for sex, some people go for food, some people go for power, some people go for knowing or knowledge. But that's more of an experience anyway. Absolutely. It's just more experience. It's just more experience. Experience and knowing are in a way the same thing. Yeah, but that's not what we are talking about. That, that well, I'm not sure what we're talking about. What the suggestion here is, Knowing seeks knowing or experience. There's no choice in that. And it's part of what it is. Absolutely. It's Absolutely. It's meaningless. But not to the experience. There is only wholeness. There is only unconditional love. And that includes the experience of knowing. This message, or what's being shared here, has no intention of getting rid or changing what appears. Has no judgment about the appearance of a knower. The appearance of need or seeking. Has no judgment, has no value to it. It just illuminates the dilemma of the seeking energy trying to find wholeness. That knowing hides wholeness. It is wholeness hiding wholeness. When you were uh, having an exchange, the conversation with the gentleman, you said something about uh, alo being alone or... or yeah. Alone. What was that? Because well, he says we. People say we. Okay. There's no such thing as we. We is a dream that the individual adds to itself to hide the reality that I am is an experience of being completely alone. Yes, it is. Yeah. It's terrifying. Yeah. yeah. Because I am the only one that knows how I feel, let's say. Mm -hmm. And I can't communicate that to anybody. So I am, in that experience, completely alone. And I hide that by dreaming that there's a we. It doesn't matter. It's just the individual lives in a very inconclusive experience of itself. It doesn't follow its experience to the end. It doesn't matter. Even if it did, it wouldn't help. But it just, this seems to point that out. That's a wonderfully disappointing. Oh. <laughs> no. Kitzel. Ein Nervenkitzel.
You say again why I prefer the word the knower to the individual. It just seems to be clear to the point to what's been revealed here. Mm -hmm. That it's actually a knowing energy. Don't know, I actually, quite honestly, I don't know what the individual is. I am absolutely certain, certain, it's been revealed that the knower is what hides this is holiness. It's a knowing energy. It seems confusing. What did I say today? That I, there is, I say there is no I. It's confusing. That's confusing. So it just seems more clear to say the knower. Yeah. So is the knower and the, and the witness is the same? Knower and the witness are the same. No, the witness, consciousness, awareness are all the same thing. It's all separation. So in that sense, this message or what's being shared here completely undermines all teachings. All teachings. Including the sound. Including. <laughs> it just points out that any path is part of the dream of the knower. There is no path. The need for a path only arises with the experience that something is actually really missing. That somehow what this is is actually really incomplete. It, it's just not. I know it's unbelievable, and the suggestion is that experience arises out of a contraction in the body which says it knows where and what this is. So you, you cannot even call it reality? No, absolutely not. You can't call it anything. This can't be na named. It's not this, and certainly not this is it. It's undefinable, unknowable. That's all there is. And that can appear as anything, including the experience of knowing. Which has no effect on the reality that there's an undefinable unknowableness. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? <laughs> the experience that something is needed to bring about wholeness. The suggestion is there is only wholeness. And looking for it makes it appear as though it's hidden or lost. It's not. So there is no way to what is already. So it doesn't matter. When you say that this is this message, everything, but when you say this message is coming out of nothing, it's you're, it's just so literal. Yeah. yeah. But it's, it's not just the message, it's the floor. Yeah. It's that question, it's this chair, it's this space. It's all no thing. Just to be very clear, it's not coming from no thing. It is no thing. Up here. See what happens when that's pointed to directly is there's nowhere left for a position. Yeah. It's all just... Hallelujah! <laughs> 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 
Suggesting there's a knowing outside the body. Right. The suggestion is the knower is an illusion, mm -hmm. meaning it's completely unreal. It's so unreal that when that dream stops happening, it never happened. There's simply happening. So that's happening. That's all there is. That's all there is. That is the beginning and end. So we all have this. We all have this. <laughs> I mean, there's no we. There is no we. <laughs> we just went over that. <laughs> we went over and over again. <laughs> no, I get it. It's impossible to get a hold of. It's like water on a duck's back. <clears throat> so, in this happening, happening, there is a um, happening, or there is an appearance of nowhere, and other people, and other knowers, or. I'm not sure I understood what okay, you meant. Okay, because there's happening, happening. There's happening. Isness. There's right? isness. Is notness. And, and in that. Is, is notness. Okay. Yeah. Isness would be an object, mm -hmm. would be that this is solid in some way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's not. It's is notness. It's what is and isn't. And the nowhere is. Nowhere? Mm. Nowhere. The knower, the, the oh, the knower, sorry. It's, it's part of it. Yeah. It's just part of... Absolutely. Absolutely. We are not denying that exists, that that happening. No. Okay. I'm denying that it's real. Well, but it's as, as real because it's something no. it perceived. No. It is not in the same category as the appearance. Okay. The knower is completely unreal, has no reality at all. It is a dream. This, everything else, is and isn't. In contrast to the knower, which in reality isn't. It's so much isn't that when it stops happening, it never happened. Its entire experience is unreal. There is nothing real. There is nothing solid. There is no free will and choice. There is nothing missing. There is no real time. There is no real life. You don't have a life. You don't have anything. <clears throat> in contrast to the experience that I know I am, I have a life, I have a home, I have this and that. All of that is a dream, a complete dream, and can, in the same way that it arose for no reason, can disappear for no reason. And when it does, nothing happened. So how would you define reality? There isn't one. 
Yes. We're, 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 but not this as perception. Not this as perception? Not as perception. Not as, not as. This as unknowableness. <clears throat> This as emptiness, emptiness appearing, emptiness happening. There's no solidity to it. The individual or the knower lives in a solid, knowable reality. It's not. This is not solid and knowable. That only happens in the dream. And it has no effect on the reality, which isn't that it's not. It's freedom. Mm -hmm. Explain how you say unknowableness and then immediately it's tried to... Or it can't... Sound what does that mean? Exactly. <laughs> I want to know unknowableness. Yeah, of course. <laughs> So the knower lives exclusively in is. Absolutely. And that's the source of the suffering. Yeah. Is well, it's not most well, the suffering in the sense of seeking. Yes. Suffering in the sense of something lost. Yeah. Suffering in the sense of being thrown out of the garden of Eden. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it can be said there is no death. Yes. Because there is already no knower. Mm -hmm. Without the knower, there's no choice of whether to eat from the there's apple. No, no, there's no choice no matter what. Right. <laughs> That's why I'm a little confused about the Garden of Eden mm -hmm. choice thing. Because there's no choice. There is no choice. There is no free will and choice. Here. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the idea started. That's yeah, exactly. <laughs> knowing. Is knowing and the experience of separation the same thing? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And seeking. Because you have to know something. And yeah. ownership. Yeah. And free will comes from the experience of separation, that I am separate from yeah. what's happening. It's crazy that it's nowhere is going to die. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Mm -hmm. What's crazier is that the knower was never born. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when you say that the emotion is infant, it's a little bit I don't understand. So basically Nothing has a beginning or yeah, but so if you Whatever see, arises is everything. In a moment? There's no moment. A moment would be separate from mm -hmm. another moment mm -hmm. or time. Yeah. And then you could be now or not now. Mm -hmm. There's no now. That any emotion is. Any there. emotion is every emotion. There's mm -hmm. only what appears. There's only what appears. Tell me something that's not appearing. Show me something that's not what is already. The individual lives in the experience that there's what is or what's happening and something else. But it can never show me anything else. Because there isn't anything else. There is only what arises. The attention can only observe certain things. This isn't about attention. Whatever is happening, observing, not observing, feeling, not feeling, is everything. So if there's a knower, this will be an object mm -hmm. in the context of its experience. When there's no one, that's simply everything. Mm -hmm. okay. There's only everything. Whatever is arising, whatever appears, is everything. Has no beginning, end, or context. Context has no beginning or end or context. Now has no beginning or end or time. It's all just endlessness. Timelessness appearing.
Jim, so is any description of what here is a story? Totally. We're just telling each other stories. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Hmm. At any of the meetings, when you ask, show me something that isn't what is, has, anything, has anybody <laughs> given you a question? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, maybe. That would like be. Japan. Give me something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm up for the challenge. <laughs> what about separation? Yeah. So that's what is. I can't think of anything. <laughs> well, there isn't anything. <laughs> It's a real catch me. It's a real catch me question. What's that? Like Japan or Pluto and Mars. But all there is of Japan, Pluto, and Mars is that. Is that saying? Yeah. But that's all there is of Japan, Pluto, and Mars. So there's no Japan. There's no. There's no Japan. There's no Pluto. Oh, what if I say that too? So it makes us two. But that's what's happening. There's no separation. And that is what's happening. <laughs> That's what's happening. <laughs> the past is what's happening. The future is what's happening. The individual lives in a partialized experience, the knower, here and there. But there can't possibly ever be a there. There is always what is. Here is always what is. And when there's only what is, it becomes obvious that there, what, there's no such thing as what is. What is, is empty, because there's no context, knowableness about it. It's just unknowing or emptiness appearing. This is that. There's no need to wait for anything to happen. This is wholeness. This is what's long. That's why this message is so um, impenetrable for that experience. Because it has nothing in it for it. It just undermines that experience with the suggestion that there is only unknowing. And knowing can do nothing with it. Except deny it. Reject it. And run away. There's kind of like palatable freedom in here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. (laughs) Would you say that the knower is a misunderstanding, or it's not? There's there's nothing conceptual about the knower. Because it's a feeling. It's an experience. (laughs) Yeah, it's crazy, because, like, um, if there's an apparent reality to this as a wall, apparently, but, like, the, the whole knower, Obviously, we've gone over this a bunch of times, but like find the knower and it's just, or show me the knower, and it's that feeling of free fall or something. There's just, yeah, the whistle of smoke. Mm. This is a crazy meeting. Crazy meeting. <laughs> so, just to confirm, so unknowing is not an experience? No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this doesn't have anything. There's nothing special about this. If there's any special, anything special in this room, it's the one that knows. That's the special. When there's no one that knows, there's just ordinariness, simplicity. Yeah, it, it definitely wants to make this more extraordinary. Oh yeah, it does. Just a little bit more. Well, it just thinks. The thing is, is that it has that experience of being center of the universe. Very, very important. Everything's about me. And so, because it is very complicated and complex in its dream, you know, all these things about what's should and shouldn't and right and wrong and all of that, very big, complex, interesting, important reality, its expectation is that the only thing that could solve that are these gurus or the concepts or ideas that are way up there that sit on big powerful things who sit very straight and talk about really complex, complicated things that you can just barely understand. Because it thinks that that's the only thing that would reflect the solution to how important it is. 
Yeah, like it needs some sort of monumental... Like, totally. Well, it's got to be. Orgasmic. My problem and my life are so big and so important and so massive. And it takes so much energy and I'm so... Oh. And then I... <laughs> what's left? <laughs> this. Mm. This. Yeah, that, that's a huge confrontation. Oh. But, you know, in a real sense, it actually is a huge confrontation. And... So, this message has always been around. Like, always. Like, as long as time. It's always been there. And it is always rejected. Yeah. It's always attacked and rejected. It has to be. And there's something here. The anarchist, there's a character here that love, that is a total anarchist, that just loves that. <laughs> <laughs> that just loves... It's just, uh, there's just such an integrity about the fact that it just is rejected, that it can't, it can't be wanted. It is an utterly unwantable message. So if there's anyone here that hears what's being said, hears what's being said, that's not a wanting. That's a resonance. That's a recognition. That's an, it, that is it. There is no distant space or time to that. No one ever wants this. Nobody, if everybody says they want this, they're, they're misle misleading they don't. It's unwantable. It either is or it isn't. Would it be possible to have like a rejection counter? That <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's called thumbs up and thumbs down on videos. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing pretty well. With a thumbs down too far to watch your videos and maybe say, no, this is a thumbs down. Just to be clear, is free will the experience of something else that could appear? Totally. Okay. So it's a dream of something else other it's than. Absolutely. It's the dream of two. Either choice. Or, yeah. yeah.